once upon a time. We're returning to van life. I haven't cooked in the wilderness in a really long time. Mask, wallet, marshmallows. <laughs> I got it gated off. We're Brittany and Drew, and after living on the road since 2015, we've been in need of a big change, especially after 2020. Hence, house sitting in the suburbs of Northern California, which is where you'll find us today, but not for long. Before we get into all of that, let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And no, it's time to enjoy the show. Babe. What? We're going camping! We're going camping! As much as we've been loving our house sitting gig, and let me tell you, it has been pretty great. Drew and I have noticed that we've become a little bit too comfortable, so we're in need of a bit of an adventure. I gotta say, I definitely miss some van life. You know what? Me too. It'd get me some van life again. <laughs> Back into the wild we go. Plus, there's a national park that Drew and I haven't been to yet that's basically right around the corner from here. Oh man, this is gonna be good. About to jump on a quick call with our house sitting host since all of our camping gear is back in our van in Florida and we need to see what we can dig out of the shed. There are right. sleeping bags, tent. So when I walk inside the shed, they're like to the right they're to the right, I think, on the top shelf. Did you think yeah. about the tandem bike? We yeah, did. Yeah, we took it to the farmer's market on Saturday. downtown and it's really cute. Yeah. You had ice cream, right? We, yeah, he did. at the famous spot. <laughs> right underneath the famous milk sign. Mmm, so good. <laughs> yeah. I went for a creamsicle. It was like middle of early afternoon. I was like, orange and ice cream sounds delicious. They do such a nice job with the way they swirl it. It looks so nice. <laughs> Pretty bird. I know you. Welcome to the shed. Our house sitting hosts are kind enough to share their camping gear with us. They don't 100% know what they have, but we're free to rummage through and hopefully find what we need. And maybe put together a little camping box for them so they can easily go into the outdoors. So far, it's been really great to have bicycles and just cars and a lot of really great things our house hosts have left for us. It is. And we'll have a car to take on this trip too. And not just any car. We're returning to van life, sort of, in a miniature version. You're gonna have to wait to see what that means. It's definitely a Coleman grill. That's exciting. Ooh, we have, Ooh. We have a hot plate. Not sure what I'm making out there for dinner. That's good news. Hot dinner. Look at this whole bucket. A bunch of pots we can use. Bunch old backpacking and camping. Ooh, we know what this is for. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> this is a very heavy one. Tight quarters in here. Ah. All right, I'll come help. <laughs> Gotta put you guys down. We can share one of these. What do you think? Very good setup. You may have noticed there's no tent, no sleeping bags, 
and that's because we're gonna be sort of glamping. <laughs> As you all know, sponsors are what help keep our channel running, and we love getting to share things that add to our quality of life in hopes that they can help add to the quality of yours. Wow. Which is why we're so excited to be sharing with you the sponsor of today's video. This is pretty great. This is wonderful. I love this. Should we tell them about today's sponsor? Mattress Insider, who is also the original mattress in a box company and they can literally customize a mattress to any size, any shape. Our mattress dimensions fit perfectly, nice and wide at the doors. They could even do half one amount of firmness and the other half softer. We especially love that they were able to add three folding seams to our mattress so we could make the most use of our space in the minivan. And it's covered in organic cotton. How soft is this? To get 5% off your very own mattress and customize to your needs, check out the link below. I never thought that I would say this, but I cannot wait to sleep in this minivan because I think we're in for a real treat. This just made it that much more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun already. Does it pass the test? It passes all the tests. See you tomorrow, van. Hey babe, think we can cook on this? I don't know. That looks pretty efficient. We won't even have to make a camp fire. At least it works. I know I called it a grill, but it's really a camp stove. But you just have it like amped <laughs> up right now or something. No, it's down all the way. Oh. I don't know what's going on. I think when you got a pot on it, it might be different. What do you think? I haven't cooked in the wilderness in a really long time. Like our van is a fully equipped kitchen. I have not done this I had since college. What do we make? At least we're gonna have hot food. Hopefully that tastes good because I'm going to be the one making it and I don't know what that's going to be yet. Do you need anything? You're, you're all right? Marshmallows? We're going to have to make a list. I might just be camping out here in front of your house tonight. I yeah, got, sleeping. I got a van, I got a grill. I mean, and your jug for water. <laughs> thanks. I'll see you tomorrow to go camping. <laughs> else get toted around to soccer games or family camping trips in a van like this look at that back there so much bed. space yeah and we even took out the bench seats so i'm very excited we're gonna be driving two hours to pinnacles national park we haven't been to a national park since white sands we'll put a link to that episode for you right up here in case you haven't seen it and um, let's enjoy the view National Park in the U.S. Upon arriving to the park, we were so happy to see that the visitor center was open, and although the cave trails were closed, we were able to grab a map so we could map out our hiking trails for the next two days. And just to help orient you, we came in through the east side of the park, and here we are at the visitor center. Every time you come to National Park, you gotta start out by grabbing a pamphlet. Of course, and then talking to a ranger. And luckily there was a very 
helpful ranger. Very there. helpful. She told us today we're going to have beautiful views on the Old Pinnacles Trail, right? Is that what it was called? I think we're on the Old Pinnacles, right? Yeah, Old Pinnacles. Yeah. Doing a five mile out and back hike to see the cliffs below the balconies, which are supposed to be super special. But tomorrow we're in for a real treat. Tomorrow's hike, which will be a bit longer, which is why we're waiting for it, is going to even feature like a waterfall and these amazing steps in the rocks and to do the loop clockwise. So the High Peaks Trail, that's happening tomorrow. To the balconies we go. Except we remembered that we were hungry. So we went off to find our camp spot and picnic first. Whoa, it's full. This is the first time we've reserved a campground in like years. Cute little cabins. Those are fun. I like the style. Canvas cabins. One thing that we tend to realize while we're on the road is that everything is spontaneous. We never have time to reserve something ahead of time, but being in a house, we're able to actually book something and get excited about that adventure. Yeah, we get to think ahead. That's us, site 83. First things first, where did we put, ah, the toilet paper. <laughs> Always make sure you bring one of these on your camping trip. It will burn you later. Sandwich for you. We were especially happy with our lunch slash camping spot because it was in full sun. Something Drew did some research on before booking because with the highs only in the 60s, sun makes all the difference. That especially makes a difference when you're camping in a tent because having sun on your tent first thing in the morning makes it not so crispy, icy cold. And normally we would be setting up our tent right now before going out on an adventure, but that's our tent. That's where we'll be sleeping tonight. So we don't have to do that, which is actually really nice. Are we glamping? We're totally glamping. I don't think I've ever, well, I guess our life is glamping, but that's van life. That's different. This is totally glamping. <laughs> See you soon, Spot. We'll be back. Yes, we will. Pinnacles is actually the smallest national park in California and the seventh smallest overall. So it didn't take us long to get to the trailhead. And here we are on the old Pinnacles Trail, hiking along the eroded leftovers of the western half of an extinct volcano. These rocks are massive. Because that volcano was located along the San Andreas Fault, the eastern half of it has moved 200 miles from its original location and is now embedded in a portion of the coastal ranges all the way near Los Angeles. Oh, show that peak up there. Wow. Look at that. They got it gated off. Wow. So cool. So cool. If only we could enter. Unfortunately, the caves were closed because of COVID and small spaces, but that's okay. It was still cool to look at. These are called talus caves and they're formed by big boulders leaning against each other so they're not actually like enclosed at one end. You can feel the air behind us getting sucked through the caves because it's a big hollow chamber and it's you can chilly. also hear the water flowing too so it's like AC chilly 55 whipping through these walls. And I bet if we were here at night we'd be able to hear the bats because there are 13 different species of bats that live in these caves. <laughs> That's my bat call. And that's my asthma. <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing on the trail that we totally forgot one of the most important ingredients for camping. Marshmallows! But the visitor center is open for eight more minutes and I don't know, I think we can make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Go, go, go. Says open. Oh man. Mask, wallet, marshmallows. It says closed. It says closed. Well, it does say open. But I think it's closed. No. 
Well, that's sad. No marshmallows. That's okay. Fire and a warm, cozy bed. And my sweetheart. Who needs mallows? Just a few things we gotta move around. Just a couple. I'll let you do the heavy lifting. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we had never done this before, this camping in a minivan thing. So we started off by taking out all of our supplies, our firewood, all of our food for dinner. And here's me changing into warmer clothes before it's too chilly and too late. And once most of our things had been moved to the front seats and the picnic table, it was time to set up camp, AKA our bed. We had nice clean sheets, cozy pillows, and all the blankets we could gather. Although I think we maybe should have brought a couple more. And we put some reflectics in the front windows to at least help insulate us a little bit. And voila! Ooh, <sighs> this is so cozy. <laughs> mm. We're gonna sleep so well tonight. I love that you can remove the chairs from the back of a minivan and yeah. do something like this. Yeah, so it's great because you might have a minivan and you don't have the extra cash to spend on a Sprinter van. This is the perfect solution. I've seen people do this with Priuses too. Yeah. So I also probably, from my experience in having Spirit, would build a couple slider drawers in, maybe going all the way out the back on one side of it, and you could put like a little platform. That way you could set your portable Coleman grill onto it. I just think there's a lot of really great and easy solutions without having to break the bank. The possibilities are endless. I don't even know if I'm gonna wanna hang out by the campfire. Oh, we have to be. We are camping tonight, <laughs> and we're gonna show you guys exactly how to have a good time and how we do it. Whether you have marshmallows or not, right? Ah, uh, no marshmallows. Maybe That's we can okay. find a neighbor or a chipmunk running around with one. You know, they've got extra little things hiding in their cheeks. Maybe he'll share a marshmallow with us. Ooh, I don't really want any chipmunk munched on mallows. What I got. Got to keep my special lady warm. Speaking of keeping me warm. Oh, the gift I got you a long time ago. Yeah. They, electric gloves. Yeah, they look like Terminator gloves, but they're electric heated battery powered gloves. Can you feel them kicking in yet? Yeah, they're really cozy. Oh. But that fire is going to be even better. <sighs> Gotta love a good campfire. This is nice. Well, we did park so close to the bonfire pit. You'll probably keep warm from there. It's true. But we do have some dinner to be cooking. What do you say? To what? <laughs> I didn't hear what happened. I said, what do you say? We're about to cook some dinner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. You can really feel that heat kicking in. It smells really good. That's what campfires do. Blinded. Blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Oh, once upon a time, there were two adventurers, and they went camping in the woods. Once upon a time, well, you wanna... blinded Brittany, and she whacked him in the head. Oh. How are you enjoying that bonfire, babe? It's nice. It's nice? My heated gloves are nice, too. <laughs> you look like you're keeping warm. We still got dinner to cook. We're really procrastinating, but we're really enjoying this fire. Yeah, it's nice. Ah.
Could we survive the night in our minivan? And what about the High Peaks Trail? Make sure you subscribe and tune into our next episode so you don't miss out. And if you want to see more of us, you can check out our Patreon page. We'll put a link to it in the video description below. It's hard to even describe the love and appreciation we have for our patrons. And for all of you. 